There was an article several weeks ago or a month ago in the New York Times about the great disservice done to our educational system by requiring high school students. Oh, Hacker, that guy Hacker, yes. Uh, I already have in public, but <laughs> I could do it again. A um, couple of things. If his article was about the great disservice that's done to our kids by teaching them what we currently teach them in their high school algebra class, I'm 100% on his side. But he didn't. He said we shouldn't be teaching algebra. What he should have said is we need to teach algebra instead of that excuse that's taught in the schools for algebra. I know they're recording me, <laughs> so I'm going to get slaughtered by this. No. It, it, what's taught is not algebra. If you go back and look at what al Khwarizmi was talking about and say, this is algebra, this is clearly important, this is clearly powerful, this is valuable stuff, and you teach it in the context, then it makes sense and everyone can see the use of it. I guarantee that the person who wrote that, and probably almost all students, in the course of their everyday life or their recreational activities, use Excel spreadsheets to do things. Excel is an implementation in silicon of algebra. That's what it is. It's a, sp a spreadsheet is modern algebra, a modern implementation of algebra. So anyone who, who, who keep, keeps track of sports scores or, or run, runs events or keeps track of their finances using a spreadsheet, they are using algebra right there and then. So Hacker is saying we don't need spreadsheets and you don't need to know about them. That's what he was actually saying, but he didn't realize that. So it's a matter of of what he was getting at. And uh, it, was, it missed the point. But if it was a matter of what's taught, that's a different issue. So I, mean, I don't use spreadsheets that yeah. much, but yeah. they seem more arithmetical than algebraic. Yeah, in, in terms of the, yeah, no, but. And you made a distinction, it seems like. Between that's right. Because the issue is, and this is really why um, it was sort of implicit in what the, uh, the, the traders were doing in 8th and 9th century in, in the Muslim empire when they were doing the trading. What they're saying is, there are calculations which you have to apply again and again and again, and the numbers change. If you're trading, you're multiplying by an exchange rate, you're doing something, you're doing this, and it's the same calculation essentially, but the numbers change. So if you have a method that tells you how to do it for any numbers whatsoever, you're at the level of algebra. And at a spreadsheet, that's what spreadsheets do. They do arithmetic efficiently so that you just change the numbers, and then you just literally, now you just sort of pull the cursor down, and it does the same calculation for all of them. So it's doing algebra. Uh, but it's still the algebra in the sense of algorithm because it is applied to numbers. It's, the focus is on calculation, but it's general methods for solving problems that are all essentially alike. And once you're looking at terms of general methods, you're at the level of algebra, which is why when I talked about the Babylonians, I said, this is really algebraic. They were writing down a formula. They were writing down instructions for doing it with specific numbers. But the way they were writing it was saying, take any number and do this and this and this. And the moment you start saying take any number, you're essentially doing algebra. Yeah, unfortunately, the guy that wrote in the New York Times didn't know that. You know, there's this, you know, I tend to avoid writing about something publicly that I don't really understand. <laughs> and I think he overstepped the lines there. Um, but if he'd said what my kids are learning in the algebra class, hey, I'm on his side. But I think that means we should reform what's going on in the algebra class. Stanford University.